Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. In honor of President's Day, I want to share how George Washington and Abraham Lincoln understood the value of mathematics. Here's a quote from George Washington. Without arithmetic, the common affairs of life are not to be managed with success. The study of geometry and the mathematics with due regard to the limits of it is equally advantageous. I previously shared a story about Abraham Lincoln, which I'll summarize here. Lincoln paused his law studies to learn what it meant to demonstrate a proof. He found his answer by studying the geometry books of Euclid's Elements, an ancient Greek textbook. So whatever you think about the following homework problems, you should appreciate their historical value. These manuscripts have survived hundreds of years and they show math problems then are remarkably similar to math problems today. So both of these problems involve calculating simple interest. Here's a problem when George Washington was about 13 years old. If 100 pounds gains 6 pounds in 12 months, how much would 75 pounds gain in the same time? Now you should also use pounds, shillings, and pence to write your answer where 20 shillings is equal to a pound and 12 pence is equal to one shilling. You should not write your answer in fractional pounds because they used pounds, shillings, and pence in his homework. Now here's a problem from Abraham Lincoln at about age 16. If $100 in one year gains three and a half dollars interest, what sum will gain $38.5 in one year and a quarter? Can you figure these problems out? Give them a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So let's first tackle George Washington's homework. He did the following calculation, essentially. He did 75 times the interest rate of 6 per 100 pounds. So 75 times 6 is equal to 450, and this should be divided by 100. Now 100 goes into 450 four times evenly, and then we have a sort of remainder of 50 over 100. So how do we deal with this fractional amount of a pound? So he dealt with this 50 over 100 as half a pound, and as there are 20 shillings in a pound, there will be 10 shillings in half of a pound. So the answer then became four pounds and 10 shillings. Now let's tackle Abraham Lincoln's homework. So he first converted all the units of time to months. A year is 12 months and a year and a quarter is 15 months. He then essentially equated proportions. The interest earned per dollar per month is the same in both cases. So in one case, we have $3.50 divided by $100 in 12 months. And in the other case that we're trying to solve, we have an interest of $38.50 divided by the sum that we want and divided by 15 months. So we can rearrange this expression to solve for x. So this will be 100 times 12 times 38.5, all divided by 3.5 times 15. So Abraham Lincoln multiplied the numbers at the top and the numbers at the bottom. So the numerator becomes 46,200, and the denominator is 52.5. He then did the division and got the correct answer of $880. Did you figure these problems out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. You can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, if you have a math topic or puzzle suggestion, and you can catch me on social media 
either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Talwalkar.